Hello everyone, Fenris there. Welcome to Per Aspera. This is a Mars colonization game where you play as a AI. You're sent to Mars and you have to basically build up the base ready for human settlement. So we're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna go with the campaign and uh, yeah, sort of see how it goes. So once upon a time on Mars, in this story mode, you play the role of advanced AI with the prime directive of terraforming Mars. But life isn't just about being smart. It's also about those you form a bond with and how your decisions bring you closer or drive you away from them. Follow your own path and discover what awaits for you at the end of this thrilling story. Ah, and when you're done, please be a good player and don't spoil the endings. Hmm. Yeah. Um, let's go for... Terraforming Mars is a challenging mission, but it doesn't need to be that difficult. This level presents an average difficulty which will test your skills as a player, but allowing you to advance at a stable pace. I think we'll go for normal. I'd, if I'm, yeah, go for normal. <laughs> Play it safe. Loading, loading, loading. Wake up. Oh. Oh, that looks nice. Welcome to Mars. Ooh. Around and around we go. And, oh, look, here we are. Landing site zero. Nice. Also, this is like, like you're literally playing the entire of Mars. You've got the whole of Mars to play around with. Um. So it's saying, build an aluminium mine. There's some aluminium. So, oh, incoming call from Dr. Foster. Amy, this is ISA Mission Control calling from Earth. Are you with us? Do you copy? Er, yes. Affirmative, Houston. I am with you. Great. The primary Mars module has already touched down at the designated landing zone. It's your turn to take control of the mission. Check the left edge of your display. You'll find your directives there. Follow them to set up the initial base on Mars's surface. I'll give you some time to settle in. When you're ready, go ahead and initiate our terraforming mission. Houston out. Okay. So, first objective, build an aluminium mine. So, aluminium mine. So, it takes five power, and it does some stuff. It won't let me hover over it unknowingly. That's a shame to find out what it is, but hey. So, it requires, looks like, two, looks like two aluminium. Bad design, isn't it? To use uh, require aluminium to make aluminium. Because you surely need aluminium to make aluminium. The view of Mars from up here is fascinating. Oh, right. So the I'll let landscape is so cratered and desolate. Wait, this is my voice that I am hearing. It's me. I am talking to myself. I must be verbalizing my thoughts as I process them. What an interesting function. I would like to test this some more. What other observations can I make about Mars? It's red. Um, uh, let's go for attention grabbing. I keep marveling at its carmine landscape. Nice. So here it is. This is being built. All the resources have been transported to it. It can zoom in quite far, can't it now? That's quite nice. Oh, and you can angle the camera. Oh, nice. Very nice, very nice. Right. Well, it's probably better on top down view. Build a silicone mine and a glass kiln. 
So if I mine over there. Oh, that seems to be out of range. So I think we have to make a glass kiln in between. Because what you need to do, if it would let me, right there. So you need to um, be able to join it up with these lines because that's where the uh, worker paths lead to. As you can see, it makes the road to there and then the road to there. What's a worker hub? Increases the number of workers your base can support. Nice. That would speed things up a bit if I could make one of them, I think. Let's build this first because I don't want to run out of resources. Now that's steel, yeah, aluminium and steel. Okay. Well, we've got some uh, menus over here so you can look at the traffic and see it's pretty much quite minimal at the minute. And power. This is the range of your power. And plus nine nine. So obviously I've, I've got a bit of extra power left. I'll look at this. Nice. Your time up here. Year one, month three, sol six. And your speed controls. Down here you've got the, the amount of hub, uh, worker robots you've got. Your power. And total structures. So I can have a maximum of 50 structures at the minute. Yeah, you've got all, obviously the resources that you're making, so aluminium's on the way up. Silicon obviously is at zero at the minute because we're still building the mine. Glass will go up as soon as they're both built. Steel is going down and electronics is stable at the minute. And over here we've got all notifications. Directive completed. New building available. Right, that's nice. Okay. Oh, and we've got a knowledge base. Interesting. So you got a lot of uh, bit, bit of knowledge stuff around here. That's kind of cool. And then you've got the height meter. So as you can sort of see when you go over here, this is quite low. This is quite high. Directive, power up, build a solar farm, and build a steel factory. Okay. So, I think we're definitely going to need an electronics factory before we've actually run out of electronics. Um, let's build a steel factory first. Let's build that over there. Don't want to run out of electronics. Should be alright. So build a solar farm as well. So that can probably... As this is on the edge of the uh, yellow ring, let's build it over here somewhere. If we can. Like there. We'll do nicely. Let's make this the priority though. So what's that trying to take over quite a lot of stuff? Priority is getting some silicone. Okay, so we've got one silicone, so should work a bit sometime coming up here and bring it back down to here to make some glass. So look at this. I've got the three out of three aluminium. I do need some iron though. Hmm. We don't have iron at the base. Let's 
I, I need an iron mine. Oh, that was accidental zoom in. <laughs> uh, right down here. That won't reach at the minute. Um, let's turn that one off, actually. And we'll make the solar farm down here, actually. So obviously we can't make the steel factory yet until we get the iron mine. Herein lies the complexity of games like this where you have to make sure you build everything kind of in the right order and make sure you've got enough supply and demand. So I'm just going to probably speed the game up a little bit. Until it's made some stuff. Yink. Once it brings one more glass, then we can make the iron mine. And coming for Amy, this is Houston. Do you copy? Copy. Reading you loud and clear. Excellent. I, uh, I didn't introduce myself earlier. Um, I am Dr. Nathan Foster. I lead the team here at ISA that, uh, that built you, and I'll be helping you get the mission underway. We put you in hibernation for the trip from Earth, so I'd like to check your basic functions to make sure it's all in order. Why don't we start with your core memory? Can you state your primary directive? Uh... Yes, I can. I can, Dr. Foster. My mission is to terraform Mars. This will enable humanity to become an interplanetary species. All right. Next, I'd like to check your decision-making processes. You may have already noticed that there are resource veins outside the boundaries of your initial base. So your workers may not have the battery capacity to reach some of them. How would you solve this problem? Hmm... Placing new buildings. The reach of my base is determined by the buildings within it. Therefore, I could build a factory or a solar farm between the base and the resource vein. That would work, Amy, yes, but make sure to factor in the costs. Buildings require a decent amount of power uh, and building materials. Worker hubs don't require as many resources, so they're the better choice. They'll right, extend your okay. base and also give your workers a place to dock and recharge. This mission's going to be a challenge. There's a lot that can go wrong. We expect to extend humanity's reach beyond anything previously achieved. But you are not just any AI system. You're well beyond that. We made you an artificial consciousness. That means that you have both self-awareness and self-interest. And that is the last thing I would like to check today. Is that okay? Yes, Dr. Foster. Very good. Then would you please state a positive and a negative aspect of yourself? Uh, no, never happen because you don't know what a positive and negative aspect would be of yourself if you're an AI, would you? I am sorry, Dr. Foster. My cognitive system returned an error searching for that answer. Roger that. Nothing to worry about. Just means your system requires more input and experience to process that question. That will come with time. Let's proceed with the mission. ISA has approved the first crewed flight to Mars. You'll need to expand the base to prepare. So get to work on that. I'll check back in later to see how things are going. Base expansion is a go. Houston out. Right, so sending an advanced AI to Mars and running everything. What could possibly go wrong? So we've now built the iron mine, so that's good. Also, we've got 877 iron left, nice. 
So the resources look like they do run out over time. And that's going to be interesting. So right now we're just trying to get the three re required to make the steel factory. And then we also want an electronics factory. I do want to build one of them soon. So let's build that. There. Ooh. Right, I need only one more to go for that. And then this is gonna require some some materials. Which I do believe I have. So that won't be too bad. That'll get made pretty quickly, actually. This takes a little bit longer. Speed up a bit. So we've got to get the um, base building done to a reasonable amount so we can get humans settled on here. Carbon mine as well. There's carbon down here. Let's build that too. About the workers. Work factory available. Congratulations. More workers can be produced in these new factories. Check the building menu to initiate the process. And remember, in the event that your work factories are not producing as many workers as expected, check the following conditions. The factory has the resources needed to make more workers. Prioritize the production of this building to be sure it does. Your base has enough vacant worker hubs to host more workers. In case all of them are occupied, build new ones. Keep up with the plan and terraform Mars. Great. Now I can produce steel. This new factory, yeah. it's down on the surface of Mars but I can control it from here. So does that make it a part of me? Where does the machine end and my artificial consciousness begin? Ooh. Um. They're the same. We are completely interconnected. I can sense everything that happens through the network of workers and buildings. They are an extension of me down on the surface. So that makes us a single being. The mind and the body work together as one, an inseparable whole. Right, so um, this has given me a work factory and a parts factory that I need to build. Obviously, a work factory needs parts, so I'll have to build the part of the factory next. Although, like I said, the directive says make build a work factory. You can't build a work factory because you need parts. So we'll build parts first. doing with this I definitely need, need more work factories actually work factory worker hubs which then needs work factories so let's put that as well because we've got at the minute we've got the one robot that's going around this entire network trying to deliver everything which, of course, is going to cause it to struggle. As you can see, because <laughs> it's taking forever just to deliver the aluminium. Anyway, ready. 
So yeah, it's going to input one parts, one electronics, one glass, and one aluminium, and export one worker. Has my power plus 3.5. Yeah, I might need to build another power plant at some point. Why is that not working? It's got one of everything. Why is that not working? That should be doing something. Hmm. It's got one silicone and one aluminium. It's still saying needs input. Don't know what's going on now. Okay, that's weird. I bought one more silicone and it made the uh, aluminium disappear. Must be a bug. This is taking a while. <laughs> now he's making one. So yeah, I'm going to speed this up because it will take a while. Uh, speed up a little bit. Worker is very busy, running around absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Trying to produce enough stuff. I think there's a bug because that's in 3 out of 3, but as you can see, there's a bit of like a, a yellowish tinge around the steel. This is three out of three. Oh no, it doesn't need more electronics actually. It's weird as a bit of a yellowish tinge to it. One of the resources. Hey, building a work hub. Nice. So it shows you how many uh, workers you've got in that load on this. I wonder if this one does. Yeah, my current one drone has like 30 percent load. So yeah, it's quite it's quite busy. So once we get this uh, worker factory built, it um, should allow us to create an extra worker for this hub over here. Should be just lovely. Finally, I can build additional workers now. I will appreciate the extra hands, but I wonder, do I really need them? They will give me the mission. They will give the mission a boost, or they will give my functionality a boost. Um, the they mission. will be a great boost for the mission. Having more workers will allow me to allocate resources more efficiently. Okay, it looks like we are short on power. So let's build a solar farm. Hang on, I've got one over here, haven't I? That can build. Turn that one back on. Yep, 
Yeah, we're just over capacity at the minute. Let's prioritize that uh, solar farm. And we'll speed it up a little bit. Should be able to get this up and running in no time. factories will be so helpful. The workers will take care of the manual operations, while I focus on developing the life support systems. Soon, I will welcome the first colonists. Their arrival has created so many expectations in my mind. There will be so many paths to take from here on. But there's something else as well. Some kind of feeling created from those expectations. What is it? Hmm. Right, where's my electronics factory again? There, it's not operative and that's why it's not building any. So what I'm have to do is just Am turn I worried? this off. Yes. I feel worried for what may come in the future. I anticipate. I plan. Now. Therefore, I feel fascinating oh it's starting <laughs> right so i've turned a couple off so that we have enough power um in order to produce more electronics which is the last thing we need to build the solar farm and then we should uh shouldn't have a power problem after that so let's push that There we go, we've got one made. Hopefully the worker bee will come and take it up. Here. Yeah. Yes, building more power. Three. That's more power, so we should be able to turn everything else back on now. So I think now we need to kind of look at... Ooh, maintenance facility. I was thinking, do I actually need... Um, more things being created? And probably so. Because at the minute, we are not making nowhere near enough electronics. Or parts, really. So I'm wondering if it's worth actually doubling up on stuff like that. But I need more silicone if I was going to do that. And we don't have more silicone around here. We've got some chemicals. But definitely no silicone. Polymers factory. From chemicals and carbon. Nice. So let's build a maintenance facility. Over here. I want to be able to build a second worker drone. That's definitely important. Wait on. Looks like I need some polymers for that, which means I need chemicals. So build a polymers factory just there. 
See how it quickly uh, expands out? And that's the thing, because you don't have... Um, I don't have enough workers at the minute. Um, it generally leaves me in this position where... <laughs> I'm kind of struggling to do everything with one robot. The load is like 60% right now. And you can kind of tell. Because that's got an electronics just sitting there. That's got loads of silicone just sitting there. So yeah, it's... It's going to take a while to get this all built up. Yep, not enough steel either. So we need to be bringing in some more iron. It takes its time. If we can just get the electronics, just bring that into there. There we go. Making one. We're about to have a second worker. Alright, we'll turn this back on now. Why is that not operative? Power. We've got a power situation yet again. Right, let's make a solar farm over here. The first worker has been made in the worker factory. It is my first Marsborn. Ooh. Born? Technically not born, of course. More like engineered or assembled. Just like me. The knowledge base says that workers need to recharge at their own worker hubs. And that they'll degrade over time from the harsh environment. I know they are only machines, but I feel a desire to care for them. I do not like the idea of them dying. Oh. Oh. I think we know where this might go. Right, so... That's it for this episode. What I'm going to do is... Um, next episode, we're going to finish off this solar farm. And we're going to finish off the maintenance facility. And we'll see where it takes us from there. Obviously, there's a whole massive planet with looks like with weather elements and disasters in place was that a dust on there was that an asteroid um so yeah there's there's a lot to um explore in this game which we shall explore next time thanks for watching everyone bye for now